Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. Hi, this is Devin Grayson, and you are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Diggity dink. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Nightwing News. I guess you can tell, call this our ha- our Halloween episode. I have Phil joining me as always. It is. Hi, I'm Kristen. That's right, because this time, yes, we're going to get a, a tale of, the ho- of horror and the supernatural uh, as we cover all of DC vs. Vampires, in which Mr. Dick Grayson plays a huge role. Uh, there is, we'll get to it. There is one premise in here. I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. All right, but and this is and again, this is a newer story. I mean, this this came out last year, so you know, well, it started last. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think issue one was only like a year ago, or so ago. So all right. Uh, this is the first. I mean, in the doing the reread, this is the first time I've read it through complete. You know, like almost yeah. all at once. Yeah, yeah, before I was just reading it issue to issue, so. Well, wait, hold up. First, I want to ask you, uh, so you got the, you said you saw it too. Are you going to, are you going to upgrade your wedding ring to a Nightwing red ring, Phil? Maybe one day. I mean, it's like, what is it? It's almost $400. That's not a spur. Yeah, it is. Of a, oh, yeah, I'll just pick up this. Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Well, what I find interesting is that they're billing it as a wedding ring. I mean, I guess since men otherwise don't wear a lot of rings, although sometimes men, although I guess maybe it's more the signet ring or a class ring or something, but it does seem a little funny to me that it's like, get your wedding ring in this superhero. You're like, I'm not marrying Nightwing. <laughs> Unless you're just giving, you know, the gift of, you know, your for your here significant other's favorite character because i mean that it looks like there are a bunch of dc ones so yeah yeah there are and i'm sure they have marvel and stuff it's just funny to me that they're like oh we made these rings for guys and they must only wear rings if they're married or something i don't know because i think they're the ones that make a dinosaur bone ring ring as well <laughs> it's like yo honey do you want to get married i don't know you can have a superhero ring oh cool Oh, well, then definitely. Why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> what a lifetime of commitment for a, for a superhero ring. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> if Phil had had that option, he would have been married years before. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> a comic with a comic book? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to know if those rings exist in the dc universe because i hope if they do if dick and babs ever get married they exchange rings and she gets a nightwing ring and he gets a bad girl oh ring. there you go <laughs> and you know bruce has a tracking device in both <laughs> Indeed. Uh, i was gonna say you're probably not gonna get that ring i was gonna say uh, you, you might be able to find a kangaroo ring because i did find danielle a turtle ring because luca loves turtles so I I mean I already have a kangaroo ring, but it's oh no, I should have known I should have known. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool though because it opens up. It's one of the like the oh. kangaroo's body pops open. Yeah, it says it's called a poison ring. So if I'm ever wearing it, Phil, you know something's about to go down. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> All right, so should we jump into this? Because yeah, there's a lot here. Because again, well, the regular series was. 12- issues and then we got there was like two at least two one shots and yes yeah i have to admit that um 
when I reread it, I skipped a lot of it. I really only read like the sub. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there's a few issues there. It's like little to no dick, you know. After the big reveal, it's just like yeah, he's locked in his tower, mm-hmm. little tower there. Yeah. Well, and even um, I mean, he's not in issue one at all, and then issue two focuses on the Bat Family, but then he's not in a ton. I don't know. I guess so. I told you before after. After I read it, I and somebody made an odd comment on Facebook that they didn't that they thought the identity of the king had been changed partway through. Oh. And I was like, oh, really? So I Googled it and I don't think that's the case. Um, and I found some Reddit where some people were like, who do you think it is? And several people said they thought it was dicks. And I was like, oh, well, good job on those people. Um, but of course I was not reading it all the way through. I, before it was revealed that Dick was the vampire king, I only read issue number two. Cause you were, you told me all oh, yeah. that family's in issue number two. You might want to read it. So I read it and then I didn't read any until six. So when it was revealed as what were your thoughts? Cause you were reading it as it happened, right? Yeah. I mean, it kind of caught me by surprise. I, sh- I, but going back in hindsight now and rereading it and rereading it all at once, it, it's it kind of stands out now. I, again, maybe I'm just like you know hindsight, I'm just like, oh yeah, of course. But I mean, rereading it, I mean the issues leading up to it when we see Dick, does, doesn't it seem now where it's like, yeah, this does, something seems off with Dick, like where he's not really helping. It's more like when we see him, it's mostly showing up to Barbara, and it's like, oh hey, what you doing? You know, and it's just you know he's really not. You know, he'd be more gung-ho about helping out and it's more like he's just hanging around and be like oh so did you discover anything uh, uh. yeah yeah i thought i mean i thought he seemed pretty in character in issue number two yeah um in the sense that um that he's like Lex Luthor knows your, uh, Lex Luthor told him your identity and he's like, what? That assessed me. And then when, um, he's like, oh wait, you want us to kill now? Um, and that, and uh, but of course, you know, in the background, um, but I guess, yeah, looking back, yeah, the big one I think is when Barbara finds that pile of dirt um and is all kind of explaining it to him and i do remember when i went back and read it i was like uh like the first time i was reading it afterwards i was like uh why are they make trying to make dick sound stupid but because like sometimes they do that in the comics and then i realized oh yeah he's like not stupid he's just like acting like he doesn't know what's going on to see how much barbara knows yeah but one thing that I thought was interesting is the reason that the main person that started the thread uh, that I saw on Reddit that was like, oh, it's Dick, isn't it? Is because they were like, Dick's been in it a lot. And I thought that was interesting oh, yeah. um, because I kind of went through and read a little bit of DC of, or DC or however. And like the bats are like gone and deceased almost, almost immediately. I mean, yeah. the end of the first yeah. issue Tim and Dick get zombified and Bruce kills him at the beginning of the second one. And then spoiler alert, Alfred shotguns Bruce at the end of this, at the end of the second one. And like, that's it. Damien's the only one um, left. So I guess, yeah, that in retrospect, that was kind of a big giveaway. I mean, a part of me wanted it to just be like, Oh, they're finally recognizing that Dick is a big name. Um, kind of thing, but then it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and, I th- and I think they were going for the shock value too, because Dick's usually, you know, the nice guy. He's, you know, he's everybody's friend and stuff. So it, it's sad because, like, even Green Arrow says in the one issue, he's like, I thought to the Batman, I thought you were, I thought you were a vampire. You know, you got to admit, you only go out at night. You live in a cave. Mm-hmm. You love your secrets. But yeah, I think that's what it, that, that was the other. I mean, everyone was expecting it was either going to be Batman or Superman or you know somebody, but you know like that. Mm-hmm. And again, and again, it, it completely sides. That's the other thing in issue two. I mean, he takes the test with everyone else. You know, this, the the uh, crucifix, the holy water, and everything. So of course, you know, then everyone's like, oh, hey, it can't be him. 
but there's ways around that. <laughs> right. Which that was kind of dark. Starfire's blood. Yeah, and they don't really talk much more about her. I mean, she, I think, is she? Is she I, think, I think she should. Not in the main series so much. I think it was All Out War. Oh, okay. Where, yeah, yeah. They kind of show, show a little, not a ton, but a little more of her in All Out War. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, that was kind of like this side thing there, but that makes that makes sense. Well, I don't know how you want to do it. I would say I mean if you just want to jump a lot of the vampire I'm stuff I had heard of, I didn't know that this holding the cross, I thought it was more like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I mean, there's lots of vampire lore, and it's not consistent. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they can like handle the. Maybe if you, they, I think that, I don't know. They just feel pain when they see it. I mean, that isn't most lore. If they hold the crucifix, it like burns them. So that's the big, you know, if it, they actually make contact with it. Yeah, I I think. Well, I mean, I know when it's been a while since I read Dracula. I know that when they use the. They use the Eucharist on one of the vampires, and that burns into her. Yeah, any like anything blessed or like yeah, like an object, uh, if, religion, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. Was it um? God, it might have been like an X Men issue. Was it? There was some some version. It might have been. I think it was the Marvel version. But they were like, the crucifix only worked if like the person holding it like believed in you know Christianity and or, you know. Sure. It's, yeah. It's like, I'd have had to believe in it. Yeah. I love when Alfred's like, "Oh, thank you, thank you." You know, I'm uh, glad you have caught. You know, you uh, believe me, and you didn't make me take the test. And uh, Bruce is like, "Yeah, yeah. Well, you would have burned what you know, because I had the uh, our hot water tank bless us." <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, issue six. I mean, that's a not in a, not a good way. That's a big one for the Bat Family. During the big reveal. Right. Yes. So do you think. Was Dick just wait. Just the, just needed to get rid of Bruce. Uh, killing him. Or do you think. Uh, I don't know. He he said oh, oh he's going to. He told Damien them. He's like he's going to. You know he would have killed me no matter what. Do you think was Dick honestly that afraid of Bruce. Or. Mm. I mean, I could almost see Bruce being like, yeah, well, you know, you were my son. I'm not going to let you, you know, exist like this now. Yeah, I mean, I think it was partially. I mean, I think the main reason they did it, of course, is for the shock value. Oh, that, <laughs> oh definitely that splash page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But... My favorite character. <laughs> well, but and I also think it was good because it allowed them to do something different. Um, oh. because of course, if Bru if Batman were still alive, then he just like in Injustice, he if he's around, then he becomes the main opposition figure and everything okay. revolves around him. So yeah. if you want to do something without involving Batman, you have to, um, you have to get him, get him out of the way. So I thought it made it more interesting um, that he was, that he was, that he was taken out. Um, I mean, I think it showed like, wow, um, Dick has really, you know, he's really changed, you know, it's really changed him um, being a, being a being a vampire and then of course it gave um uh, it gave other characters room to shine and that yeah. was good yeah a lot of a lot of people's favorites taking uh hits here yeah will's favorite how jordan man he had uh <clears throat> dusted pretty early on yeah but he had a big role before that oh yeah and especially like the first issue yeah that was the big yeah one. it was how yeah yeah because he could use the ring to block out the UV light and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, Hal had a. I always find it weird, and, like, and again, in like different versions of the story, they've tried it a few times. Depends who's writing it, but it's like making Superman a vampire. I know Batman like hit him with kryptonite beforehand, but it's like. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, the vampires are supernatural. You can't break Superman's skin, but every cell in his body is saturated with solar radiation. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Don't know or... At least not, not, not before you kill it. The vampire who did it uh, died. I don't know. Yeah, I don't and, know. Yeah, and again, it's like if you're going to do, if you're going to have like a, one of the super big superheroes become like king of the vampires, I mean, a, a, that's a big thing for Dick because it's like, because he even says, I think, was it when Barbara talks about killing him? He's like, he's like, yeah, he can kill me. He's like, you know, you know, Clark will take over or Wonder Woman will take over. You know, just so he was king over all of them. Yeah. Superman, Wonder Woman. all. Mm -hmm. Still kept that charisma. Right. Yeah, I mean, I have to say. My, I mean, it's probably because that's the character of the guy. My favorites out of the whole thing were the black and white ones that I just read recently that explained how he became a vampire. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I liked that the best because, yeah, there were, th I mean, I get that he, um, I get that you're evil, so being a vampire would change you, obviously. But some of this stuff felt slight, felt slightly weird. Like when he says to Tim, he's like, "You should have been looking at your other family about Starfire." Yeah, the time. I'm like, I kind of get it, but Starfire is more your family. I mean, that was like a minor thing, but that felt slightly off. Yeah, you know what they, you know, all they had to do was change it. He should have been like, "Yeah, you should have looked to our other family." Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then when he says to Tim, "Your dear Starfire," like I didn't think Tim cared that much about Starfire. <laughs> no, I mean they were on like a Titans team together, like the early two thousands. But I'm like, yeah, it, you know, nowhere near, you know, you know. Right. I mean, if it had yeah. been like your dear Connor or your dear oh, Cassie yeah. oh. or something like that, yes. <laughs> but yeah, it feels more like. The words he's saying, you should have been looking to your other family, your your Starfire. Those feel like something that somebody should have been saying to Dick. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you know what else is weird? I mean, maybe they, they there might be an explanation, but it's like what you know, he changes Damien. Damien gets made a vampire, but Damien can kind of try to fight it because he's still helping them like battle the vampires and stuff. And I'm like, if anyone could like retain their like goodness through this thing, wouldn't it be Dick? Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that seemed the weirdest in that um because it's one thing, one thing to be a vampire, but then he's like killing, you know, shoving his hand through Bruce and stuff and it just like I just wonder if they were just like, well, did Damien has fought against darkness within him his whole life. So, you know, he had more experience battling dark, you know, darkness within him and stuff, uh, you know, what, if that's their explanation. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the thing that seemed the weirdest to me was, I mean, on the one hand, I get, that, I mean, what it's one of those things that I can see it going either I can't see it going either way. Um, yeah. that yeah, Damien is becoming closer with Bruce and he's always like, That's my father. But on the other hand, he has really connected with Dick. So I could have seen him being like, Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, follow yeah. you sort of thing. The thing that weirdest to me and again i mean i guess it works um because alfred uh, damien was taken care of by alfred but yeah the thing where he says he has something me and mine lack compassion maybe he's different because when he turned he had you and i had no one yeah uh, <clears throat> So that, 
Yeah, but it's like yeah, it's, it's like okay, I guess. If anyone had a lot of people, it's it was Dick Grayson. I mean, come on. Right. Yeah. So that seemed. I mean, if anyone. Well, could... maybe it had to do with who he was turned by as well. I don't know. Well, maybe. Yeah. But I suppose since he was betrayed, but then they were like, he kind of, I mean, you all did let me know what you think. It almost seemed like he accidentally killed her. <laughs> well, it could be. Um, that since he became the, since he became the king, since you don't really have to work up through the ranks in the vampire world, apparently, if you kill the ruler, boom, you immediately become the ruler. Um, I mean, which, you know, is like kind of a form of, of conquest. Because uh, it's like he, Dick just stands there and is like, okay, Alfred, you can do it. Um, and then Alfred doesn't. So it's kind of like, he, yeah. It's kind of like he knows. But yeah, he also seems to have some, some compassion left. I guess it's one of those things that because it's an Elseworld story, if you if you just kind of think whatever, I'll go with it. You yeah, can go yeah. with it. It makes sense. But if you want to be nitpicky, annoying nerds like us, I feel like there's things that you can like. I quibble with that. I quibble with that. I quibble with that. I quibble with that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you have to hand wave some of it just because they wanted to get with the premise. Oh, look how cool this is! Nightwing is the king of the vampires. Right. Right, because then Damien gets all messed up, but then he pops back in, mm -hmm. looking okay. And I was kind of like, oh. Well, yeah, I think vampire healing or whatever. I guess. Uh, but yes, I think that was probably why Nightwing in Dark Birth, probably why I like those the best. Because I did think it was a good explanation for why Dick became the Vampire King. And that felt the most in character and very true because yeah, yeah. he absolutely would um, <clears throat> go to help Melinda or I mean really anyone. Um, so that made sense. And plus it was funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, she hears a slur and she's like, Oh, you're not alone. He's like, I'm with a beautiful creature, big eyes, glossy hair. It's like, it's the dog. <laughs> And that picture when he sits up and look out. Uh, you can't really see him. But how oh, there's the little picture of Haley and she's like, <laughs> they put like little stars around her eyes. Mm, so cute. Puppies. I know. That's just, that's just all the sadder. Yeah. But then, I mean, just the, I mean, I mean, not the, jump all the way to the end but just the way it ends i i thought they were going to do a sequel but i don't i haven't heard anything about a sequel with the new ruler yeah yeah how he's thinking who will feed Haley? oh yeah yeah then how he can't kill his sister he's yeah i mean that's why it felt so how it was like i can't kill you and then yeah after they bite him he kind of like comes up and is it through? So I think he was like trying to kill her before she bit him. Uh -huh. He was like, I was too late. I did think it was kind of interesting how in one of the later ones they uh, they have, because that's another thing that's in some of the vampire lore that they can come into your dreams. So they have oh, yeah. this, like, Dick and Barbara have a, a sexy dream. <laughs> Which does kind of, uh... Which does foreshadow um, the end. Which, yeah, that was the one thing where she said, Dick has one weakness. He is too proud to have his food served to him from the blood farms. He wants to be the purest vampire. That felt we That felt weird to me. Uh huh. Yeah, them saying like Dick has one weakness. Farm he's fresh. Still, yeah, like he still likes his friends or whatever. That would have made more sense to me than 
Yeah. He wants his blood still from people. Like, that doesn't really, like, worrying about purity has, I mean, that sounds like a Damien thing. <laughs> like, Damien's yeah. never been concerned about purity. <laughs> exactly. And plus, like, why would he care about being the purest vampire? He didn't even want to become one. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, I forgot, too, in uh, All Out War, the first, uh, in the backup in issue one, it's uh, when Barbara finds out her father's a vampire, and, yeah, she has to. she's the one who has to kill her own father. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. So that's another thing she, that <clears throat> she wasn't too happy about with Dick. Yeah, although did Dick change her dad personally, or is it just like she's just sort of blaming him in general? I think in general, because I don't think I, I don't know if they actually show it, but I, I'm sure maybe if he I don't think he did it, but he might have given the word. Mm-hmm. So yes, about. The ending. I mean, he did make some. Interesting, interesting points about, you know, like we're beating people up and stuff. We're choosing moral lines. Mm-hmm. Um, and that kind of stuff. But yeah, then I did really, I did really like the ending. I thought that was a good, um, cause it was like a good gut punch ending. Cause you know, kind of like in horror movies where, um, they don't always end on an upli- on an uplifting note, um, oh, but instead you succumb to the horror. And so I thought that was, I thought that was cool. How um, how Barbara a change. Now, what do you? I was so. What do you think? Do you think that was her plan all along or that she wanted to? Because, I mean, I guess it's been over here, but spoiler alert, anyone listening. What happens is Barbara lets Dick turn her and then she has Dick feed off of Harley, which why is Harley's blood poison? Did she give her something or is that like a unique Harley Quinn thing? Um, I'm trying to remember. I th- Was it? Uh, uh, I think she might have injected Lex's blood into her because remember Lex was given the blood. I think he had something in it that, that w- yeah, it was like killing the vampire. So, yeah. That's so, right. so I mean, I'm trying to remember if if they were just p- to put his blood in Harley just to k- transport it or, yeah, I mean, it might have been it might have been part of Barbara's plan or at least oh, hey, here's a if things go bad, you know, let's do this. Right. I mean, I think part of Barbara's plan was always to have him bite Harley and yeah. die through poisoning. Um, because that's a good sneaky plan. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it was pretty fascinating how she had him turn her first and then she had him eat from Barbara or from Harley. So in the end, Barbara is now queen of the vampires. And yes. It's not I, a happy ending. I, it's a sad ending. <laughs> I think I think she did that to settle everybody down because it's like, like he even says, he's like, you know, if he dies and I guess if she's not a vampire, then someone else is just going to take over like Wonder Woman or something. So Barbara had to had to chat had to have him turn her so she could become you know take his place, right? As she said, but now I want so much more. So you know that's her. Because that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah, she might settle things down a little bit, but I'm like, is she going to be any less uh, evil than Dick was? Because I'm just like. If Dick couldn't fight it, I mean, is Barbara going to be able to fight it? And if so, it's like, okay, so Dan, now Damien and Barbara can fight it, but Dick couldn't? I'm like, okay. No, I don't think she's fighting at all. I think that's why it's the gut punch. Because she says, as I lead the vampire race, there's nobody left to challenge my authority. She yeah. says, the war yeah. is over. I was the last casualty. When I died, so did the last thing humanity had left to cling to, hope. 
I mean, I think it's supposed to be like, oh, snap. Mm, yeah. Is ending yeah. that like, wow. Oh, so is it, you think it, you think it's oh well, you think things were bad under Dick. Well, wait till you see what Barbara's gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, she says the last thing humanity had left to cling to hope. I mean, so like the war is over. I think that means like, I mean, why would she become a vampire to let hum to let humanity win? Because then she would die. Um, And she says, there's nobody left to challenge my authority. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I think it was such a good ending, because it's a bleak ending instead of... The, well, it, yeah. And so it subverted your... I think this one did a very good job of subverting your expectations, because even though they, like, seeds of it um, along, the, along the way, um, you know, there's... Also, you were also like, whoa, wow, it was Nightwing. Didn't expect that since he's such a nice guy. Yeah. Um, and I think um, there's seeds, uh, there seeds along the way. that It's a little bit unexpected, but also you can't expect it because the Bat family is always fighting against the darkness. So it, you can't see that any of the bats, you could see any of the bats going either way and you know barbara yeah. it barbara is very is very strategic um and you know i mean some of the stuff she does as oracle i mean it's cool but like it's also shady i mean doesn't she like go in and you know i mean yeah she's stealing money from the villains but doesn't she yeah. you know like hack in and take blockbusters money at some point and um and do and do things and do things like that um, so well, I mean, yeah, vigilante justice. I mean, nothing they're doing is legal, right. pretty much. Yeah, right. So, it you know, you can see it. Um, yeah, and again, I think they, that... I think they just wanted a good twist with like Dick and then eventually Barbara. Because again, if they would have if it would have been Bruce, everyone would have been like, Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, no, I saw that coming, right? Exactly. And so, I think that's why it's good because you get a twist like at the halfway point and then again at the end because yeah. you think oh barbara's going to um you know she's saying dick's weakness is purity but like no the barbara is definitely dick's weakness um yeah. you think she's gonna go in and and kill him because and he'll kind of let her because he loves her but then you're like oh whoa she lets him make her a vampire now they're gonna be vampire king and queen whoa and then she turns it and is like, ha ha, just kidding. I'm going to kill you so that I'm the undisputed. And you're like, oh, damn. That was dark. Mm -hmm. It's like some dark, devious girl power. And so a part of me was like, yeah. But the other part of me was like, whoa. And then in issue six, when Jay, you know, then Jason's like, I knew you'd fall eventually, you know. That's very Jason. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised Jason. He, he just didn't uh, chain, turn Jason. I was just like, yeah, you're dead. Well, he wanted to, but um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, oh. I could see that with any of the bats. Actually, um, them having uh, instead of. Instead of like being the acting like they were the hope for humanity, but then twisting it. Um, uh, but I think them having it be Dick and Barbara, um, you know, it's it's a bit subverts expectations both times. But at the same time, since they're bats, and we know part of what makes the bats interesting is none of the other bat well maybe damien generally none of the other bats are as dark as batman but of course none of them are as light as superman so it's like yeah. dick is much lighter than bruce but he's not like woo you know yeah yeah, yeah. There's some there's still some tough uh, some tough stuff in there he's still he's still bad um so why well, think i think yeah and again too it's like you do dick and then eventually bar right everyone's just like oh these two can fall you know it could be it could be anyone you know anyone else could become a vampire too 
Because, mm -hmm. yeah, see, Harley looks really sad. Although, I mean, maybe is that supposed to be Supergirl in the last one? Because they're going to have to. Because they did have some success. Um, well, I know, well, I know they were trying to get Supergirl in the orbit because, uh, yes, the vampires had blocked out the sun. So they, if they could get her in the orbit, she would power back up. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, but how on that last page you see Damien creeping up as he sees everybody's bowing. It's like he knows this didn't go as planned. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, and then, oh, on the and one hand, I of course wish his dick hadn't been evil, but on the other hand, it was nice to see him get a lot of screen time, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, there were still like traces of Dick Grayson, you know, even too, because like even like I mean, in his own twisted way, like when he offered Alfred, he's like, he's like, let me make you immortal, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah. he's just like respectfully go to hell, <laughs> right. Yeah, like I said, it really just felt like tiny things that I yeah. was like, if you would have tweaked this dialogue a little bit, yeah. that would have made more sense. And I don't know, if he had not said, like, Damien has compassion and I lack, um, that seemed weird because Dick is famous for being one of the most compassionate. Yeah. Um, See, that's I mean, but him saying, like, oh, he's had you, maybe that Alfred, maybe that does make a difference. Like, that kind of makes sense. I mean, if they if they would have written a maybe more delusional, where he's like, "No, no, no, I'm sa I'm saving humanity. Nobody has to die now." And if they had done that uh, thing with the food the opposite way, if they were like, "Oh yeah, Dick's only eating animals," yeah. you know, maybe just yeah, it's something like that. Because well, what you think about that argument when that you know Barbara's like, "No, this is wrong. You're eating people," and he's like, well, "He's like, yeah, we're well, eating innocent animals." Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm really eating bad people. You're eating, you know, chickens who never did anything to anybody, cows. Yeah. Trying to justify it. Mm -hmm. But to me, what made it, uh, for me, I think the ending and how it's like, to me, that's a very bleak ending of like, wah, wah, they failed and this prospect of power. Um, has turned, you know, it turned Dick and it turned even, it turned even Barbara. Um, I thought that made it much more powerful and interesting um, than if she had just killed Dick and it was like, and now we unblock the sun and all the vampires sizzled, huzzah, nothing, is, you know, woo, woo, we, we won. Yeah, um, I know. I'll, I'll, the fact that it has a dark, the fact that it has a dark ending, I think, makes it. It makes it more unexpected, and because it's kind of like, oh, the superheroes lost. <laughs> yeah, again, these type of stories, and especially like Elseworlds type stories, and like even on Marvel side, the what if? Yeah, it's usually yeah, things either go way wrong like this, or a bunch of people die, or both. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. kind of like how, um, although it's Marvel, but how Infinity War was so impactful because it subverted. I mean, you like, superheroes always win. And then they did it, and you were like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Like, even though you knew it was coming, you were still like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, because even that had impact. And at this one, you didn't know it was coming. Yeah. Uh, that, that one is interesting, too, when they were, like, shipping the aliens off the off Earth, because I guess, uh, yeah, Dick made a deal with, like, some of the alien... Uh, other alien races where it's like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll ship your citizens back, but you, you don't come near earth. And I guess a lot of the plans went for that. Mm -hmm. Although earth is like, well, especially in the story, Earth's a ghetto, man, they just lock their doors and drive past. I mean, I feel like in our world, aliens would be smart to do that as well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, no way. So, what were you? You said there was something that you didn't like. Oh, that, oh, it? oh, that the, the whole I mentioned already. Uh, the thing where it's like, yeah, Damien could kind of overcome his vampirism, but they couldn't. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I don't know if they were just trying to say, oh, you know, Damien's always fought against you know darkness within him. I don't know. Maybe that was the whole thing where it's like, oh no, Dick's always been this happy go lucky person. So it's like the darkness hit him harder. I don't know. Maybe since Damien's a child. He's still malleable. 
<laughs> Only in body. He's a child. <laughs> but like, yes. And like I said, the, um, that's also why I liked the background story as to how we got turned because that I thought was very consistent with how Dick would behave. Yes. Yeah. So that was very good. Uh, but, all right. So anything else on, on these? Uh... I think that does it. But yeah, kids, I mean, if you haven't read the read this go read it uh it's good and again there are there's other stuff in here besides dick grace and i mean of course we're focusing on nightwing because this is nightwing news but uh yeah there's stuff with <laughs> green arrow and yeah yeah a lot a lot of your dc favorites yeah there's harley stuff and i mean pretty much most everybody's in it yeah 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 Although, although uh, the flash gets taken out pretty quick, is like how, how's like yeah we discussed it yeah your metabolism might shake it off or whatever and they, or like or if you do become a vampire you're you know the king said you might just like drain the planet try no no, no. so there's that I do remember I was looking for something else um, oh because I teach this class about witchcraft so you know sometimes. Um, Sometimes stuff comes up uh, about vampires. And, um, yeah, there was some uh, some sort of scientist that a while back did some calculations. And they this scientist said, there's no way, I mean, uh, they're like, there's no way vampires could be real. Because if they were, and assuming, even if they assuming they got started in like 1800 i mean not even that long ago and a vampire needs to feed on a human and a bite means you become a vampire they're like we'd all be vampires by this point in time like it would happen really fast oh yeah <laughs> because it would be exponential growth so yeah i thought that oh, was, yeah i thought that was funny and yeah i did kind of think about that scientist when they were talking about it with the flash i was like oh yeah that's what the science that's what science says <laughs> Well, yeah, and it's not like the Middle Ages. I mean, just the way people travel now. Yeah, there were way fewer people in the Middle Ages. We all would have been vampires much faster in the Middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But we can we can reach all corners of the earth that uh, quicker now, though. It's true. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. So, anything else? Oh, look, she's drinking water. I know. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, kids. So yes, uh, so yes, we recorded this out of order. So yeah, last week on the podcast, you should have heard our uh, reviews of the October issues. So next month there'll be five weeks, so we'll get three episodes of Electric Mullet. Then we'll be back to cover uh, the new Nightwing issue and uh, all the other new issues for November. And then the second episode in November, I uh, will do Nightwing fifty six through fifty eight. Uh, that's the that'll be that Shrike story that we kind of started last month. So. Mm -hmm. uh then get more electric mullet then december you'll get uh yeah the reviews of those new issues and then the last episode of the year uh we'll cover legends of the dc universe number six and dc comics presents 31 and 58 those are all dick grace and robin teaming up with superman so a little more cheerful yeah. holidays yes all right, so send us your thoughts on all of those. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find all things Capes and Lunatics, episodes, social media, merchandise, uh, links to our Patreon. Please help us subscribe. Uh, help us support this craziness. All right, so find everything all in one place. That's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. That's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. Uh, and listen to the other shows, a lot of the other shows where we're doing some whole, uh, Halloween stuff. So stay tuned. All right. And now, most importantly, go on Amazon. Hey, you want to you want to be the coolest person on the block and give away the best. You want to put that you want to be the person who puts the best thing in those trick or treaters bags. Go on Amazon and buy yourself a bunch of Dick Grace and Boy Wonder. 
Buy it now on Amazon. That's right. What's what's more nourish, nourishing than candy? Knowledge. Uh, Dick Grace and Boy Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it's even more nourishing than blood. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's right. And it's like it it's boring schoolwork, kids. No, it's Dick Grayson, boy wonder. <laughs> but don't worry, kids. It was written by an educator. So, all right. So, so find that on Amazon. Uh, please go do that. Mm. So Kristen doesn't have to resort to drinking blood. Yes, go pick up Dick Grays and Boy Wonder on Amazon. All right. Thank you for joining us again. We'll get back to some our more familiar Dick Grace and next time. New issue, new issue reviews next time, and then Nightwing 56 through 58. Our heroic Dick Grace, it'll be that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, next year maybe we'll, they want to do Blackest Night Batman. That's what it was Batman. Zombies. <laughs> yes. But yeah, kids. If you haven't read DC vs. Vampires, go check it out. I told you, Ray, you'll love that one page of nothing else. <laughs> I think he's already seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I showed him that many times. All right, kids. Come back next time. Join us. Same wing time. Same wing channel. Same. Lightning news. <laughs>